Remarketing is already an important part of your PPC campaign strategy, but as we want to find more wins and as marketers are getting more in tune with how important audiences can be, it's important for us to find new ways to build even more specific audiences to be able to speak to people on a more granular level and really match our message to what they're looking for based on what they've done on our website. In Google Ads, there are a number of different remarketing audiences that you can make just within the Google Ads interface. But today, I want to talk specifically about Google Analytics and some of the really cool nitty-gritty breakdowns you can make within the platform. Let's hop in. In the Google Analytics interface, we'll need to head to the Admin section. And then in this Property column, the second one here, scroll down just a little bit, and you'll see Audience Definitions. Click on that, and then Audiences. That will open the audience builder. Here you'll see any of the audiences that have already been created in the account. So let's hop in and create a new audience. The builder will pop up. There are some preset audiences you can use in here. If one of these seems like it could be important for you, you can go ahead and create that. But for the sake of uh, running things through today, I wanna create a new audience. So here you'll see all of the different aspects of the audience builder. Over here on the left is the high level navigation. And within each of those, you'll find different ways to segment the users who have already been on your website and tracked through Google Analytics. So on the demographics tab, most of this is pretty high level information. You can target based on age, gender, language, what affinity audience or in market audience they were a part of location, all sorts of breakdowns. One of the benefits is that you can easily click into any of these text fields. You'll let it load for a second and it will pre-populate some of the things that you might not know. Instead of typing in English, you would want to just choose the EN, US, or any of the other language codes that are already preset for you. We can also target based on technology. So the operating system, browser, mobile device brand that somebody is using. We can also target on behavior, the different sessions, transactions they've had. One of my favorites is to use traffic sources. I like to target people from some of my efforts in cross-channel. So if let's say you want to target everybody that you targeted in a LinkedIn campaign, I might come in here and type in LinkedIn. And then it will show up over here on the right. So any user who came to my website with LinkedIn as a part of the campaign name will be part of the audience that I've just created. Let's take that off for just a second. You can also create more advanced conditions um, and sequences based on the actions users have taken on your site. So let's just create an easy example here. Let's say we want to target people who are ages 25 to 34 and 35 to 44, just for sake of example. We'll hit apply and the audience definition box will show up to show you who you have targeted. You can then see the number of users in that audience over the past seven days who've been to your site. And the more interesting part is to pay attention to eligibility. Based on the targeting information here, I am only able to use this audience on the Google Ads display network. If I were coming in here to create an audience specifically to use for RLSA, or some other purpose, I wouldn't be able to do that because of the choices that I've made in my audience definitions. If you're trying to create something for RLSA, you might need to come back in here, change who you're targeting. Let's get rid of the age because I know that's what's causing the issue. And instead, let's just say people who came to the website from a Chrome browser. So just click in here, Chrome pops right up at the top. We'll hit save. Now you can see the eligibility has gone up quite a bit. We can use this in display, search, it's available for Google Analytics, and it's also part of the external partners list. We've got a good amount of audience users there, so we can just name the audience Chrome users. Hit next step, and this is where you'll actually publish it to your Google Ads account. If your Google Ads account and your Google Analytics account have been linked, you should be able to click this Add Destination dropdown and your Google Ads account will show up in here. Just check the box, hit OK, and then publish, and you're done. Within the Google Ads platform, 
You can easily filter to find any audience that has been created in Google Analytics by choosing filter and then data source. It'll create a list of different checkboxes. Just click Google Analytics, hit apply, and any of the audiences that were created in Google Analytics and imported to your Google Ads account will show up here. You can then add them to your campaigns just in the same way you would with any other website visitors audience. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos. 